Hey guys, how are you today? It's Mo from Programmer Tube. Today's video is about how to determine if a string has all unique characters or not in C, C++. So if you're interested, let's jump right into it. Okay, so here I am in Visual Studio. Let's go ahead and create a new project. Click on File, New Project. From the New Project window, make sure you have Visual C++ and Win32 selected from this list. On the right side, make sure you have Win32 console application selected. Let's give it a name, is unique. Click OK. On this page, click Next, and then hit Finish. All right, so let's see how we can determine if a string has all unique characters or not. Let's take an example, char str equals something like nice. In this example, as you can see, all characters are actually unique. None of them is duplicate. How do we determine in code that this string has all unique characters? Let's start by writing our function here. Let's say bool is unique and give it a string as an input. const char pointer pstr. So this function will return one of two things. True if the string has all unique characters or false otherwise. The trick I'm going to use here is simply by counting each character. If any character count is more than one, then we immediately stop and return false because we know it's not a unique string. First thing we always should do is check for the input parameter to be valid or not. So if somebody gives us a null string, if this is null, in this case we can say return true. You can choose return true or false here. Next, we will scan every character in the string. While string is not at the null character, we're going to say PSTR++. All right, so here we need to add our logic. We're going to need an array that uses each character as an index to count each character. Close all zeros at the beginning. Now we can simply say if count of this character increment as we hit the character. If the count of it is greater than one, in this case, we know that this character is actually duplicate. So we can say return false. Finally, we return true because that means we've scanned the whole string and we couldn't find any character that was repeated more than once. This is how you check if it's unique. Let's give it a try here. Let's say printf, let's print out our string first. Then we say is unique equals another string and new line character. So give it the string and call our function here is unique str. If this function returns true, we're going to print out yes. Otherwise, we're going to print out no. Right, so this is our example. Let's try it. Ctrl Shift B on the keyboard to make sure we compile correctly. Right, seems to compiling fine. Ctrl F5 now to run it. So as you can see, nice is unique returning yes, because all characters are actually unique. Let's try something that doesn't have unique character. Let's say instead of nice, good. Ctrl F5 to compile and run. Okay, in this case it says good is unique is no because O is duplicate. Let's try something else. Awesome. Awesome should also be the E is duplicate, so it should give us the same value. As you can see, awesome is also not unique. Finally, we can try something like wonderful, and this is also a unique set of characters. Okay, so this is how we solve it. However, there's one thing we can improve here, which is if we want to handle capital case same as lowercase. Currently, this code doesn't handle that. So basically, it will think this E is completely different from this E. Instead of that, we can simply say convert it all to upper or lowercase. We can say to upper of the character here. And if we want to use to upper, we have to include ctype.h header file because that's where to upper is defined. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you find this useful. Please like this video if you find it useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment if you have any suggestions for other videos and thanks for watching.